Hi guys, hope you are well. Today I'm going to show you how you can use sweeps to alter the appearance of a wall structure. Today I'm going to create some sweeps to introduce a brick on edge soldier course with a tile crease to the top of an external wall construction. Uh, the wall construction I've got here on the screen is a very simple 215 solid brick wall. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is edit the type, duplicate and rename the wall. Okay, now I'm going to create the sweep profiles. I'm going to be creating three separate profiles today. So, go to File, New Family, and choose Metric Profile. The first profile I'm going to create is the Brick on Edge Soldier Course. So, go to Line, and I'm going to draw a very simple rectangle. Now I'm going to modify the parameters. The height is going to be 112.5 and the width is the same as the wall, 215. I'm now going to save this profile and I'm going to call this uh, Brick Soldier Course. I'm now going to load this into the project. Next thing we need to do is click on the wall again, edit the type, and edit the structure. And I need to add a sweep to the wall. As you can see at the moment, the sweep is um, greyed out. So what I need to do is click on preview in the bottom left hand corner, and you get a preview of the wall construction. At the moment, this is currently set to plan view. So I'm going to click on this box here and change it to section view. Uh, before I go to the sweeps, I'm just going to zoom in on the top of the wall. Okay, as you can see, the sweeps box is no longer greyed out, so I can click on it. Now I'm going to add the profile that I've loaded into the project. So just need to find that here. That is the brick soldier course. Um, I want this to be at the top of my wall, so I'll change that from base to top. I'm just going to click apply so we can see the difference on the left hand side of the screen. Here we can see the soldier course on top of the wall. The next thing I'm going to do is change the material. And I'm going to make this a engineering brick soldier course. Okay. Now I'm going to apply that and we'll go back to the 3D model so as we can see what it looks like. There you can see the soldier course at the top of the wall, which is looking good. Next thing I want to do is introduce a tile crease just below that soldier course. So I need to create a new profile for that. Again, file, new family, metric profile, and open that. Now I'm just going to draw the shape of the tile crease. I want the overhang of the tile crease to be 50 millimeters each side of the wall. So I'm going to draw this at 315 wide. I'm going to make each tile say 15 millimeters high. The 5 mil recess between. Okay, and then I'm just going to mirror that side. Okay, just going to check the overall height of this. It's 35 millimeters. Okay, I'm now going to save this as new name tile crease and load that into my project as well. That's my garden wall project. Okay, now I need to edit the type again. And again, I'm just going to zoom in to the top of this wall so we can see the difference. Edit the structure, go to sweeps, and again I need to add the profile which I've just loaded in. So I'll find the file which was the tile crease. Mm -hmm. Again, I want this to be at the top of the wall. 
I'm just going to click apply so we can see how that looks. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to move it down the depth of the tile crease, which was 35 millimeters. So distance from the top, I need to change to minus 35. Apply. And now I want to move it so as I've got a 50 millimeter overhang each side. So I need to offset it 50 from the exterior and apply that. The next thing I want to do is change the material. And I'll just do that the same brickwork as I've done the wall, which is that one there. Apply. Let's have a look how that looks in the 3D view. Yeah, that's looking really good. Next thing I want to do is just create a concrete haunch to go either side of the soldier course. So again, file, new family, metric profile. And I'm going to draw two triangles. I can make them 50 by, say, 30. I'm just going to draw a guideline now which is the width of the wall. And I'm going to mirror that triangle. Oops. And I'm going to delete that guideline. Save that as a new file. I'm going to call that haunch. And I'm going to load it into the garden wall project. Okay, again, I'm going to edit the type, edit the structure. I'm just going to zoom in at the top again so we can see how it looks. Edit structure, sweeps, add, and find the profile which is called haunch. Again, I want this to be at the top of the wall, and I'll just apply that. Okay, so it's the right height, but it's not in the right position horizontally. So again, I need to offset it 50 from the exterior. Great. And I need to change the material. I'm going to make this a mortar, concrete mortar, apply, let's have a look how this looks, there we go, that looks good. So we've enhanced the appearance of this brick garden wall by introducing the soldier course, uh, tile crease and haunch. So I'm just going to go to my uh, plan view. Uh, just go back to 3D a second. Ground level. Okay. Plan view. And now I'm just going to draw some more walls of this type. Create similar. So I'm just going to draw some random shapes. Delete that first wall and go back to 3D view and you can see that the sweep has continued followed the profile of the wall no matter what the shape. Okay guys, hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.